cannot tell you how much a wave of nostalgic hit me as if when I loaded into Diablo 2 last night again. Aww. This has been years since I've actually played the OG copy of it. Been 5,000 years. I tell you, I, le this, it's, I legit felt like I was a kid again playing it for the time. <laughs> Best part about it is, I didn't have to give Blizzard any of my money. <laughs> you said that, I was like... <laughs> oh god, you can you can see old Cadabra there. Hey, as far as I'm concerned, it's justified. They got 60 bucks off of me for a remaster that I can't really play at the moment. Yeah, at first I thought you meant, like, bl uh, Blizzard Beast. No, he's too nice. I know <laughs> he would never do something like that. Right. Would be if he had a feline son, I'd say he's a cool cat. And and that would be a pun. <laughs> Very punny. Why thank you. <laughs> Why do I still have the secret key? <laughs> what does that do? It... No room for items? God damn it. What are the TMs? I forgot. They're, they're important, right? They teach me. So yeah, they're, they're important. How many of them are there? I, that's, it's, naming them just one through something is like a bad way to do that. Oh, uh, there's 50 of them, and in later games they handle it better. Do they? Yeah. Are they still called the TMs, or do they actually change the name to something that tell what it looks like? Uh, it, it's like... I think on the side it says, like, TM whatever, and then actually names the move that it teaches. Alright. I guess TM makes sense, because the TM does stand for teach. This That whole number scheme <laughs> would get confusing. I, I never thought of it as teach move because it stands. They say it stands for technical machine. Really? But, yeah. I didn't know. It's okay. I didn't know it actually had an in-game term. Yeah. All this, all these years, I, I always thought it was just teach. It was shortened up for teach move. Yeah, but it, it would make sense if if it was teach move. I see why they call it something else, though. They're trying to make it sound all scientific and shit. Yeah. Make the show sm sound smarter than what it is. <laughs> to be fair, there was, like, apparently a lot of... A lot of Gen 1 was, like, pretty scientific stuff. Like, really? genetic cloning. Yeah, because the whole Mewtwo thing and Mew. Oh. And then... Eevee's genetics being able to evolve into three different forms because of an unstable DNA structure. That's what it says. So what, have they moved away from science and more into, like, god-like or religious or mystical type stuff instead of scientific? I, uh, I'm not sure. And one catching is dumb. <clears throat> yeah, it kind of is! Yeah, here it says, its genetic code is unstable, so it could evolve in a variety of ways. There are only a few alive, what?! <laughs> Wow. Never read that. Same, I don't remember it saying. Nothing? Okay. Viewed through a micro. Oh yeah, it just says short delta here. It probably says something different from here though. Okay. Um So wait. Yeah, and there there's also the fact that you can revive fossil. What were you gonna say? Yeah, that's right, there were Pokemon that, that come from Revive Fossil. And um I'm just gonna say you're already at the Elite Four? Yeah, well I have to go through Victory Road, but yeah. Ultra Balls are worse than Great Balls at catching at full HP. Well... Fuck. <laughs> fuck me then. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> Great bit. This is a Christian stream, you can't do that. Christian stream, that's that's funny. Not 
good to luck. Basically catch every Pokemon with Sleep in Great Falls. I actually read yesterday that in Crystal, or at least Gen 2, I think it was Paralysis, Poison, and Burn does not increase catch rate. <laughs> Sleep alone gives you a 1 in 5 chance. Oh my. Wow. That's pretty helpful. Good goodness gracious. Oh my lord. Oh no, what's it doing? Lord. Kill it! <laughs> Don't solar beam me. Does that help if I just went... <laughs> oh, it's like how it's weird playing a vampire in oblivion going out there in the day. <laughs> Magneton is not all, they're not steel in this game, but also the only, also the only one that has Earthquake. It still blows my mind that a poke, that a Charizard card from Gen 1 is worth the most amount of money. Yeah. That's insane. Because even back when they were brand new, that was still a popular and rare card, and it just has never lost its rarity. Makes me wish that I had, uh, still had some old Pokemon cards laying around. Same! So, I was uh, lucky enough and got one of them back in the day. <laughs> Great Balls have a Ball Modifier for all ball. Ultra Balls have a value of 8. Oh my gosh. Shit, when it comes to those stuff like my old Pokemon cards and my Legos, you might as well say that shit got stolen and sold out from underneath me back in 2010. Oh. Uh, yeah, my aunt did a huge garage sale now while I was out visiting my father. And when I came back, they were there both of them were gone and she had handed me like twenty dollars and said, Yeah, this is all that we made. Like what? I didn't tell you to sell it in the first place. Right. Oh oh here it comes! Uh oh. So <laughs> That's why Safari balls suck. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> safari balls? What are those meant to be tailored for? The safari zone. Oh. You just walk around and throw balls at things. And ultra balls. <laughs> Look, it's the only Pokemon Pikachu's good against. Costume Ball Torture, or CBT for short. Oh my lord. <laughs> you say that, and it says it's super effective, but look at the amount of damage. <laughs> He's so pissed if someone sold you Legos. Right. Yeah, Legos are... Mm. <laughs> they, those things have never been cheap. That's greatly... <laughs> <laughs> it's gone! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you boy, you need more practice? Practice? I beat your ass, you asshole! <laughs> Gotta get Taurus or whatever, which is a 6.7% chance, then you have a 5% chance. What the fuck? On. Oh, you're talking about about <laughs> about Vaporeon. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why save states exist. <laughs> Thank God you can do that. Imagine trying to catch Chansey. Actually, Tauros is probably worse because it has a high speed or something. Which I read that their run chance is based on. Based on speed. Bad Wi Fi. Uh, that's okay. Same, probably. I don't know what you said. I said that, um, I like to pick up shit and eat it. My own shit. I thought you were looking at me. <laughs> I was at first. <laughs> I was giving you, like, really? 
I, I, fucking around. I know. Hey, wait a second. Yeah, I think if, if we go over there, he gives us a TM, and it's just Dream Eater. <laughs> what does that do? Put him to sleep? Um, no, they have to be asleep for it work for it to work. But you basically get health back. Oh, it, it's a it's a damage. Okay. Big tech. Sorry. Oh, go ahead. I was reading what Mystic said. Too big tech at six or small. Yeah. Yeah, that would be disappointing. What the, what the Legos I had were that were sold off was just a giant box of all kinds of different Lego pieces. <laughs> mind, it, mind you, it's made from like sets bought in, from over the years, but it was just a huge box of Lego pieces that was gone one day. Right. I mean, the tub was... I'd say the tub was about as big as your stand over that my laptop sits on. Oh. It was a huge tub. And I know they made more than what they said off of it, too. Wait, do we go this way? I guess we can, but I think that other way was a shortcut. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. You know, the way I look at it is it's all- it's in the past, it happened, and ain't shit I can do about it now. Right. No sense in getting mad over it. Oh shit, I forgot, that's how they separated some of these, like, you would have to use different abilities of Pokémon to get through. I think this is the only case, though. I think this is the only place you have to use Surf. Okay. What was that, Soul? Hmm? What was it? Oh, Mash- okay, yeah, it's talking about the badges. Yeah. Last one was Soul Badge, which you need Surf to even get to talk to that guy. Really? And you get the ability to use Surf after the Soul Bat. It's a pretty late game, um, thing you learn? It's Gem 5. Oh, okay, never mind, that's not too bad. Was a year ago. 30 hours to sort, jeez. Whoa. Holy. I can remember be- Here's the thing that blo- when it comes to Legos, the thing that really blows my mind. I remember seeing sets like the Star Wars AT-AT Walker and then the Millennium Falcon and Death Star. Mind you, all of them when I saw, they all had the price tag of a hundred dollars, right? You look up that those Lego sets now, Millennium Falcon and AT-AT are six hundred dollars alone, with the Death Star being a thousand dollars. Jeez. Yeah, so to whoever, to the kids or people that bought that set back when it was first came out, Hats off to you, you had foresight like a motherfucker. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Mystic says it was like four foot long and two all wide. Oh my gosh. Yeah, some of those Lego sets get pretty big. <laughs> the boulder. <laughs> What's with the boulder? Uh, it, there's like strength puzzles here. You have to push these onto buttons. It unlocks that tile up there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ah, uh, though that red thing right there. Yep. Okay. Makes sense. Reminds me of some of the strength puzzles or push puzzles in Zelda. <laughs> you mean a staple of every game? Push block onto a button. <laughs> Seeing this reminds me, there was a creepy pasta game back in the day. I don't know if it was specifically made for the story that was wrote for it, or if it was like a fan project that somebody made, scrapped, and then someone else found and turned it into a horror project. But it used assets from Pokemon and Zelda, the Pokemon and Zelda games on Game Boy, and it was like this weird dungeon crawler that if you fucked up at any point in time after getting past the initial uh, starty, starting skeleton sprite, your game would mess up or so. It was really <laughs> weird. I don't rem I don't even remember the um. The creepy pasta that was tied to it. I just remember what it looked like. All right. Also, shout outs to the game for not making me push that boulder again. <laughs> I was gonna ask if it was gonna make you do that twice. Yeah, I I just wanted to get this other item. 
That's why I exited and came back in. It would reset. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed that when you went to grab the other one, that it only lets you get one of them at a time. Yeah. I didn't think the one I grabbed first was a rare candy sky attack. You know, the funny thing about Sky Attack is I don't think Charizard can learn that. Dragonite might be able to, but... Charizard too big? Charizard doesn't learn any flying moves except for Fly, and that's only in Pokémon Yellow. You can't even do it in Red and Blue. Wow. wonder why they decided to make that... I, I don't know. Did he ever fly in the show? Probably. <laughs> that's why. Because Red and Blue came out before the show did, so... Right. And if you go... And if you just... If you're making a game and you're judging a, on po what a Pokemon's ability should be based on its look, you wouldn't think Charizard could fly. Even though he has wings, they're on the smaller side. Yeah. It, it's like how... Sora mentioned it. That Charizard's not a dragon type at all. That's crazy. It looks like a jump. Yeah. So isn't it lizard type? Mm -hmm. Isn't it a lizard? When a giant lizard or something? Yeah. Since Charmander, Salamander, um, Charmeleon, Chameleon. It probably is a Charizard for lizard. Uh, you know what, I bet you it's like a beer- Well, no, because then that would make it fall in the dragon category, because I was going to say a beer dragon. Right. But don't- but those still fall under a wizard category, or? Kaylee's. <laughs> 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 For the longest time, I didn't actually know that Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, and Venusaur were based off of frogs. They are? I thought they were based off of turtles. Apparently they're based off of, like, frogs or something. I thought it was just generic dinosaur. Oh, it does sort of look like that. Yeah. When you pick up $88 in the dungeon! <laughs> Oh, this is the guy that has, like, all the mid-evolutions of the starters. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if I should have, like, um... Should have used other Pokémon instead of the starters, but eh. Whatever. Could have used like Darmy and Execute. Those are both psychic types. <laughs> but they're good. Right. Fuck, what was he sending? I think War Turtle, right? Two. <laughs> <Frictical> hit. Oh, he has a Charizard, too. Huh. Well, I would assume that, because you said he has the third final evolution starters. No, he has the mid one of all three. Oh, mid? Oh, I can just figure that final. Yeah. Oh, that's a bad miss. Sorry. 
sorry. It's okay. 